Hello, Scorpio. I am here to do your second half of Ju July, second half of July bi-weekly readings. We are already in July. How crazy is that? Let's see what's going on for you guys. Uh, the song I got on shuffle was Too Good by Drake featuring Rihanna. So I'm way too good to you. You take my love for granted. I feel like there's the Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign. I feel like this has been kind of a theme in my readings for Scorpios. It's like kind of fed up with somebody who you feel is just not not appreciating you. And remember, it can be vice versa. Also, general readings. So don't be um, glued to the reading if it doesn't resonate. But uh, it seems like there is uh, something going on here. Feeling like you're being taken for granted in a situation. You might be ready to stand up for your worth. So let's see. Overall energy between you and another person. Seven of Swords. Got some trickery going on here. Somebody's got their guard up. Let's get a clarifier for that before I discuss any further. Eight of Wands. Hmm. So this could be travel. This could be moving away from some. This is just fast movement. So this could be um, somebody traveling towards you. Somebody sending you a message. You moving away from somebody. Make it one more just to kind of clarify that to see. Because that could be, oh, okay. Um, the lovers and the two of wands. So here's the thing, Scorpio. I feel like maybe you guys have been doing some snooping. Some snoopings. You feel like somebody's been hiding another relationship. Or if they've been like seeing you and another person at the same time. But it looks like they are making a decision and they're like narrowing the focus down to you. But it might be like a little too late for you because you're realizing that they have somebody else and that they're kind of hiding this. But the thing is that they are they are choosing you, it seems like. It seems like they've been juggling this decision, but they've made the decision. But you just haven't been cool with the fact that it's taken them this long, I feel like. And I feel like you're coming to the realization that... I shouldn't, like, I don't want to waste time with somebody who's going to, who has to, like, make a decision between me or somebody else. But this person is coming in with an offer of love. You're kind of sitting there, oh, the high priestess is here. You could be dealing with another water sign. Um, you're kind of sitting here kind of biding your time. Like, you're not confronting this person. You just have this, like intuitive feeling that something's going on but this person is coming forward with an offer of love they are coming forward but it's going to require you to kind of listen to your intuition because I feel like this person in the past has kind of disappointed you um here with the five of swords it's like I feel like this person's coming in and they are they are a little bit remorseful for the fact that it took them so long to decide because now I feel like they feel as though you have shifted. Your energy towards them has shifted and I feel like they feel that and they're feeling like a little bit of like remorse in the fact that they let it get to that point. So that's why they're coming in and they're going to be, they're going to come in fast and be very romantic towards you. And you're kind of just like watching sitting on your throne. This person wants to like avoid conflict, but they're also, they're just going to come swooping in. But you're here as the emperor. Um, they want to offer you a partnership. They're going to come swooping in. They might offer to take you on a trip. They're going to do something really romantic. Some really romantic gesture I feel like is coming your way. And you're kind of just like, you're aware, you're aware of this person, and their behavior, and you're kind of standing your ground, which I feel like you totally should do, of your worth. Like you're the emperor now. And that doesn't have to mean man or woman. It could it just means like in your state, you're like the fool is upside down. And intuitively I'm reading that as like you're not a fool anymore to this person. You're the all-knowing emperor. 
and you are like the highest of the high. You're the one that's going to call the shots. You're not a fool anymore with this person, Scorpio. And you're kind of standing your ground on that. So when this person comes back in with like all the romantic offers, it's going to be like, well, that's nice, but you know, I got to see it. <clears throat> but I do feel like when you kind of shift your energy towards demanding your worth and being like, I am way too good for you. Like you need to treat me at my worth. This person is going to kind of shift as well and start making some kind of effort to, you know, push this forward and to like, they're going to change based on you changing. They're going to change too. And they're going to really try and um, do what they didn't before. Now, I don't know if you're going to be rushing back into this person. I think you're going to kind of sit on that throne and watch and wait and listen to your intuition and let this person work for, let this person work for it. You're not ready to forget what they did in the past. You are not ready to forget what they did in the past, but I do see them coming in with some kind of really romantic gesture um, that's going to kind of spark your interest. Like they could be flying to you or they could be like, inviting you on a trip or something like that and it's just you know you're kind of you're you're being a little bit cautious with this person because like I said you're not the fool anymore before you might have been a little bit of a fool with this person and you uncovered something and now you're like no 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 I'm not the fool anymore I plan my steps ahead I see what's going on so this person kind of has to play the game. It's not even like playing a game, though. It's just kind of like, you know, uh, it is a power thing because, unfortunately, in the past, they had some kind of power over you that made you, you know, that they took you for granted, and you're not going to let that happen again, Scorpio. So that's what I'm seeing. In the extent I'm going to be doing messages from this person, actions this person is planning on taking, advice from spirit as well as what is blocking this connection from coming in. Um, I did change the monthly subscription to $15, so that will give you access to all the readings throughout the month. So if you're someone who purchases a lot or you want to see like your, um, you can still purchase individually, but it's kind of benefits you to get the monthly because then you can look at them all. So if you're interested, I will see you in the extended. All right. See you guys. Bye.